Welcome to another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. I'm here today with Fire Chief Paul Thone. Hi, Paul. Morning, Hank. Another beautiful day in town, Frazee. It's always great in Frazee. We're uh, standing in front of our latest addition to the fire department here, Paul. Yeah, what we did is this grass rig here now, we had a 19 or a mid-80s Chevy, and we felt the government had a, it was an was excess, pro, uh, excess equipment program, but the, they wouldn't give us a title for it or couldn't get a title for it and stuff, and it was a two-door cab. We felt we needed more more space for a four-door cab we can haul more people because we got a six by six on the back we tow with it and takes one guy to run that one guy to drive the truck a couple guys to run the hoses on here what we have on the back here this skid unit was uh was one that we had put on that old chevy about five, six years ago but what we did is uh we ended up buying the cab the chassis if you will from excess property dnr for 500 bucks what a deal. <laughs> yeah, it can be that. It had transmission troubles, supposedly, but when we got into it, it was a minor a minor electrical thing. But anyway, we had it painted and stuff, and then we've transferred now the skid unit onto this one. Uh, right now, we haven't totaled up the, town, the amount of hours we've got in it, but we figure we have about $4,500 in this rig total. And, and this should outfit us, you know, we should be good with a grass rig for this rig for a long time now. The only thing left we're going to do is probably put a dually kit on the back, um, you know, basically for safety and stuff. Yeah, it's a gorgeous piece of equipment. I saw what it looked like when it came in, and it didn't look like this. But uh, what's coming up with the fire department here, Paul? Some of the things we're doing, we're coming up in April. We have a... Uh, we have a uh, prom drill on the 22nd, it's Thursday the 22nd. We're going to go up to the high school and we'll have a mock accident. There's a nice scene up there where there's kind of a backdrop where the students can sit and, and things like that. That'll be probably, uh, I'm not sure if exactly, probably 1, 2 in the afternoon on the 22nd. We've got a fire department we've had in the last few years. We've had a raffle usually the first part of June. This year it's going to be a Friday night, uh, April 24th. It'll be down at the corner of George and Becky's. Um, they're lining up. We had some pretty good items already lined up for, you know, silent or for aux live auction items, things like that. Um, we have a regional chiefs meeting here on the 27th. On the weekend of the 17th, Saturday the 17th, we're going to the, the fire department in Frazee has been working toward a firefighter one certification. What that entails is about eight hours of a review and a test for that. And uh, currently, we need to. To certify at Firefighter 1, we need hazmat operations level. So we've been going through a five nights of classes. So we got about 15 hours of hazmat classes to do before we can test for the Firefighter 1 certification. And that's per man? That's per man. Right now, we kind of went back and added up. The federal government, for some of these grants, the federal government saying we have to be incident command certified or have classes on that. So the whole department, some the rescue squad, the mayor himself, some of the city people were into uh, we call ICS classes, and there was uh, 12 hours of those three nights. So we got through those, and then speaking of grants, we did were awarded this year an AFG grant, Assistance to Firefighter Grant, it's federal level, mm -hmm. FEMA. Uh, about $24,000. The city needs to match 5%, but when you're talking $1,200 for 24, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we're looking for turnout gear. Basically, we've got about eight sets of turnout gear that need to be replaced. Some of them are burnt, some of them are torn, and then uh, just our pagers. A few years ago, we got a radio grant and stuff, and all the radios in the world, though, that's fine, but if nobody gets a page, to, there is a fire call, and that's a problem. So the pagers now have gotten to the point where they're almost, they're over $500 a piece. It's amazing what the equipment costs, you know, and, and uh, as we go, you know, we, we you know, I, I'm a firm supporter, and so is your council, of whatever the fire department needs, because if you don't have a good fire department, somebody is going to get hurt. And you've got to have good equipment, but first of all, you have to have good people. And, and you're one of those great people, Paul, that have put most of your life into the fire department. I want you to mention here before we go one more time when your fundraiser is going to be at George and Becky. Sure. The fundraiser at, at George and Becky's is going to be Friday evening, the uh, 24th of April. Let me, I better double check my notes. But I'm, yes, it's the 24th of April. So. Okay, and then we'll also be doing the uh, uh, prom uh, accident, and that is? 
That'll be on Thursday the 22nd. And if weather permitting, alternate date would be a week later, Thursday the 29th. Okay, I appreciate that, Paul. And with that, we're going to end this segment, but we'll be right back with Chief Paul Thone, and we'll be looking over some of the equipment here at the Frazee Fire Department. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm, I'm still here with Chief Paul Thone of the Frazee Volunteer Fire Department. Yes, hi, Paul. Morning, Hank. And now we're sitting here with this rig, and now what's this thing on the front here? Basically, this is an extended bumper. We've got to raise this a little bit. It's all a brush guard. We've got a winch on the front, you know, just in case the truck gets stuck. Okay. And this is a diesel? This is a diesel. This is our, new, our newest addition. It's a four-door crew cab. Um, basically, on the back of it, we got a six-wheeler, so we needed to have uh, space for a couple extra people. This, this unit basically responds mostly to grass fires. And currently, we've had an operation 10 days now, and it's been to four grass fires and one training, fire, training burn. So <laughs> here it's a popular item. Well, you know, especially like I can see it today with the wind, you know, and some of the people, you know, that don't get burning permits and, and aren't paying attention, sometimes things get away. But, uh, and this is a four-wheel drive unit. Yes, it is. And then uh, we get back here and we start seeing some of our gear here. Yeah, the truck is, like I said, basically for grass fires. This here, this piece of equipment here is what we call a, a backpack, pump, a pump can. <clears throat> there will be five to six gallons of water in here. And it's, it acts just like a big, uh, if you will, a big squirt gun. You know, these guys will be, some of this stuff is, you know, you get off-road, you know, you can't get at with a truck. Some of the stuff is muddy, soft, um, so that you'll send people in with this. This is quite a bit of work. By the time you pump that water can down, you're, it's a physical workout. A couple of hose reels here. These, ho these hoses will be uh, inch, one inch hoses. They'll supply about 35 gallons a minute. What, you know. The tank in the back, in, inside here, underneath the hose reels, ha holds 200 gallons of water. So you've got just over three quarters of a ton just in the water in the tank. Uh, we, in here, we've got different sets of equipment. Obviously, now here's another tow rope. Um, a Nomex grass coat, a lot lighter. Our structural firefighting gear has a thermal insulation in it to protect us from temperatures, you know, inside of a burning building. What kind of temperatures will those go to? They're rated for about 1,200 degrees. And something like this in a grass fire? I wouldn't want to go that far. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> what, the do, what the Forest Service does for their people is they give them a piece of aluminum foil. If they get trapped in a fire, that's what they've that's what they've got for protection. Like a thermal blanket. Yep, that's what it is. Basically, we get back here. We keep some spare water on. There's some more hose in the back. Um, the, if you want to move around a little bit, the pump. This pump here is a, like it's a, got a probably a 12 horse uh, Honda engine on it. Like I said, this pump here will pump 200 gallons a minute. This truck also has a foam system on there. So when you get some of this stuff stumps and some of this stuff that's smoking. And you, you put a couple per 2% foam with it, and it'll make a sudsy solution. It'll soak in, snuff the fire out. Yeah, suppress it. Right. Yeah. We get over here. This is something the firemen, basically, like I said, back to the, this truck, we put about $4,500 in this truck. And most of it was with the donation money that the firemen have raised over the, in the last year. This, this piece of equipment, this six-wheeler here, we bought about five or six years ago. Um, it's got a tank on the back. There's, 100, there's 50 gallons of water here in a small Honda pump. So one fellow can r drive this thing, you know, with one hand, spray water with the garden hose on the other hand, and he can do a lot. We also have in the cab of the truck, there is a, uh, a radio, a handheld radio, and it's a headset. You know, he's got mics in his, a mic in his ear, and he can talk. If we get something like a grass fire, we can send a guy over the hill, and what do you see over there? And it helps out a lot in that respect. Well, I tell you, Paul, this is a heck of a rig, you know, and, and we at the city and the area here greatly appreciate all you do and all the volunteer fire department people do, and I hate to say this, but we've got to go, Paul, and I appreciate you coming down here during the day showing the equipment to us, especially the new rig here. We're very proud of you all. And with that, we'll be back next week for another Spotlight on Frazee.